Hey everyone, welcome back to my couch. The place where Raid Shadow Legends players come to talk champions, strategies, and then never text me back. I know, I know, class story, right? We dive deep into nerfs, buffs, and all those Hydra updates, and the next thing I know, I'm left on read until the next patch. But hey, that's okay. This couch is big enough for all of you, even if that's a one night stand. So settle in and let's get into all the good stuff. So now let's get to it and talk a little bit of Raid Shadow Legends. So today we're going to be diving into the latest update along with the nerf that came with it. Yeah, the one everybody's talking about. And while we're at it, uh, let's address the elephant in the room, right? Why I haven't been around for the last week. First things first. You'll definitely be seeing a lot more of me here on the couch. I'll be breaking down all the Raid Shadow Legends drama, the buffs, the nerfs, and everything in between. Short openings videos? Yes. They're staying satire? Oh, there'll be plenty of it. Uh, Raid never stopped giving me material, so better use it, right? And of course, guides for new players, whatever I get the chance. But here's the exciting part. I'm moving towards a more scheduled format with some lighthearted content to keep things fresh. Uh, at least once a week. I will also be talking about other gaming stuff. Think more like long lost MMOs, gameplay breakdowns, and whatever else comes to mind. Before we jump into Raid though, let me know in the comments what you think of those updates and what kind of content you want to see more in the channel. And now, Let's get into it and talk a little bit of Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, so as you guys know, uh, this whole update uh, with the Hydra, Tronda, shield buffs and everything, it really affected everybody, okay? So I feel most of the other content creators, what they have been focusing, and I understand it's on Hydra and, you know, the nerfs that came to it, uh, the new head that pops up and you can't cause damage. How did it affect? And I'll tell you guys this. Uh, I didn't have a Wixwell team on Hydra. And I do not have Trunda on my main account. Okay. So basically, it should not have affected me uh, for the most part. This is not true. So Hydra right now, because I think I mentioned to you guys before, I had not really worked on a Hydra team. Even my clan boss team is pretty much like slapped together. Uh, I do not look at speeds or anything. And that's basically because I use a lot of those champions, the other content. And I didn't get around to do a huge overhaul of my account and pick champions for specific parts of the game, right? So this should have been mostly fine for me. And Hydra... I feel I done maybe slightly less damage. Uh, somehow, I, I know we just changed the uh, pretty much the Hydra, right? Um, but it, it, it just feels like it's fine. Uh, it didn't really cause issues in there. But as I mentioned past, my clan boss is a slap together team. Now, I usually, and I'm talking about 75% of times, maybe a little bit more, I can one key the clan boss on Ultra Nightmare. For the last few days since the patch scene, I have not been able to one key the clan boss. So, that's one thing I do have, uh, and I think the main reason is I do have Wixwell. So having Wixwell in my team, and that's mainly what helps me uh, to keep up with the clan boss in one key. Right now, I'm hitting around 40, 45 million damage. When in the past, yes, I would have the eventual 45 for whatever reason, because I'm out of the battles. But most of the times I would get about 100 million plus, right? I have not gotten even close to one key. Uh, I get enough to two key. What is fine in a sense, because I'm really, uh, how far am I going to clear clan boss, right? I use the four keys 
every single day, what it means I don't need to go that deep into, right? I, what am I going to do? Be run normal clan boss? I really don't get much from it. But yes, it is a fact. Now, I wasn't looking into making billions of damage. I was just looking into keep my one key. But it's not happening. So it's something I'm going to have to work on. Um, and I don't think people are talking enough because there are a lot of accounts like mine I try to have as much fun as I can in the game. I try to focus uh, in a lot of ways in the game on clearing content. I can clear Doom Tower, uh, normal and hard, no problem. And that's why I don't change a lot of my champions uh, to be able to clear like clan boss and make billions of damage because I already made enough. So now it's something I have to work on. And I know some people in, co in comments will be like, well, you just have to work better in your teams. I get it, but I feel a lot of people, when you get to a certain point, you don't want to have to deal with that problem anymore, right? Um, I was focusing more right now in faction, uh, faction wars because I still have a couple of factions that I have not cleared everything. Um, and the most when you go uh, skinwalkers, really don't use pretty much any of them on high-end content. So I pretty much abandoned that faction. I've been building a couple of teams right now. I'm clearing more just so I can clear completely, right? So that was my focus. And I feel those updates actually are forcing me to have to worry about other things. Now, I do have some silver saved, uh, but it, I still don't feel it's enough for me to make a major overhaul. I'm talking about like 25 mil. What I know for a lot of people, even for most of my other accounts, it's a lot. Okay. So I don't know. I, I just feel those things I've seen on gaming. Like I, let me, let me clarify this, right? I played Ultima Online, something I didn't got really into. I played Anarchy Online, uh, Star Wars Galaxies, Rappels. Uh, wasn't into Wall for some reason. I felt it was too quest based. Uh, yeah, but I played a lot of MMOs. A lot of them I played on beta, uh, beta testing and everything. So I can say for a fact, a lot of those games died because of choices made by the developer or a, and or the publisher. Okay. And that's why I feel a lot of people have been complaining. I know a lot, of, a lot of players don't understand why people are just complaining and playing the game. I do feel uh, the reason why a lot of people do it, it's not just complain, hey, it's affecting me. It's because they know it's affecting other players as well. And the most when you're on the content creator side, uh, for me, yeah, I can deal with it, right? Not a big deal on Clan Boss. So I chew key. No problem, I can one key the rest. I go far enough to where I get everything I, I need from Clan Boss. I can still hit. Hydra didn't affect me pretty much at all. So not a big deal for me. But I know it's affecting a lot of players in the most when you have free to play or low spenders. My account's a low spender, but I'm already level 94 or something. So I have all the champions. I probably need to clear everything. And besides faction wars, but and, and that's what it comes down to. It's you know you start affecting other players, then you see the population of the game going down to a point sometimes that the game is not fun anymore. Even if I can clear everything, right? You see your friends, you see other players leaving, and at some point it becomes an exodus. So everybody just you know count their losses. Uh, the good thing is my loss wouldn't be as much as the one million dollar account, but you guys understand it's it's something to have fun. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm making satire. Whatever satire I make, uh, it's just for you guys to have fun. It's I, I'm not really like oh let me really piss off raids and playerian. Okay, it, it, not trying to do this. Uh, most games I played in the past, uh, Anarchy Online, for example, they had one of the players that used to make a comic book, right? About the, 
his character and his adventures. And it was great. Everybody, uh, most people that played used to read this comic. So I feel Raid miss a little bit of this. And that's why I'm trying to add that to it. Mostly so you had a bad day. Uh, <laughs> you just got nerfed to, to the ground. And you at least can have a little laugh, you know, uh, instead of just be upset. So, yeah. Uh, something else. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to be having another fusion. Uh, this is draining me to the ground. And I'm not even talking about resources, uh, shards, or anything. Uh, for the most part, I would say I, I have enough to do a ne the next fusion. Uh, I've been having enough to do most of the content that is out. The only problem is I am me and I'm not most players, right? Um, I learned to deal with the resources. Now, even that being said, I can only do that to my main account that is a low spender. I was never a high spender. Uh, Right now, I'm pretty much going into almost free-to-play on a non-free-to-play account. I know, I got to clarify that because people are getting mad about things like this, right? So, but my point in the end is, I know how to do it, but at the same time, it takes most of my day. Even when I'm working on something else, I'm working on film stuff, uh, I have the gameplay in the background. Uh, I'm running uh, dungeons, I'm running whatever I have to run to be able to get those resources. Now, let me be very clear. I am retired and I'm in film school, okay? Most people have a nine to five job and I'll be honest, if I did, I would be up until two in the morning. What I actually do already, but I do for other reasons because I have a lot of work to do uh, besides raid. So raids a lot of times is in the side. If I had a boss that wasn't me, I wouldn't be able to do that, okay? Even using RSL helper, because you still need to stop and look. Plus, you have to run your PC. What it means, if you're at work and you have the PC run the game, your boss will not care if the game is playing itself, okay? You have issues. So, I feel Rage is not keeping that in mind. Uh, Playing is not keeping that in mind. Um, and I feel a lot of people are feeling the strain. I mean, I am just on my main account. I have barely touched my other accounts because the time has not been there. It, we had three fusions going to four fusions in less than two months, I think. It's a lot. Okay. So, and when I say fusions, I'm counting Freya as pretty much a, as a fusion. Okay. So... Just food for thought. Uh, can't wait to see what the next fusion is. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's being exhausting. Um, you can see by the other content creator videos, and I'm not even talking about uh, when they complain about nerfs or anything. Uh, their content has changed a lot because they haven't been able to stop all the contents like next fusion, next fusion, next fusion, open shorts, next fusion, next fusion, next fusion, open shorts. That's it. Because right now, nobody, nobody has time to do anything else. Okay. I know I really apologize that I'm venting. I really want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, like I said, I feel for me, for example, it's going to be good to talk about a little bit of other content as well. I do have couple of hours here and there that I can actually dedicate to other things. So I probably should do that. Just sometimes to take raids out of my mind. All right, guys. So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about everything that is going on. Uh, all those massive short needing content that raids has been putting out. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, give me a like if you guys can. It helps a lot the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the game.